Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro. Today we are with the Colorado Avalanche as of last episode. We got traded here after a request, of course. We're third in the league, going up against the 30th placed Montreal Canadiens, who I am not a net for, but we have the trade deadline immediately following. We got Landy playing with New Hook and Turbo. Our second line, Hartman, Cop and O'Reilly, and then our bottom six is okay defensively. We got Byram and Dante Slater on the up and coming. He's only 19, loaded with abilities, and he's ready to rumble. Playing with Damon Severson. And then our, yeah, it's not bad, our last pair. A medium top four defender, and I'm assuming Zach's probably elite. Yup, sure enough. And then if we go, I don't know why I did that. I could have just went straight to goalies, but we got Stewie with TJ, 95 overall. Hopefully we make some trade deadline pickups and buff this team even more, but let's see. As I mentioned, we are not in for this matchup, so let's simulate it. And it is a... Is my controller dead? Hello? What's going on here? I think the game's frozen. Oh, there we go. It's a dub. We have the San Jose Sharks up next, so let's go ahead, sim up to that game. And we are not in for this one either. Wow, we are getting shafted. Playing second fiddle to Stewie right now. I kind of feel like we didn't make any trades, but let's go ahead, view the lines, and see if anything did swap. Uh, we got Anthony Duclair. Okay, O'Reilly is now going to be the third line center. Playing with Nemesnikov and Milano. Okay, you know what? We actually did make some decent trades here. Slater is just gone, and so is that other guy. And now we have Sandheim playing. Okay, so hold on one second here. We made a lot of moves. We got Ferraro, first of all. Offensively, I don't even know if Nemesnikov was there before, but we definitely picked up Duclair, because before it was Rory with Kopp and Hartman. Milano, I don't remember him being there before either. Just a lot going on here. Here's our scratched players. Doubt we did anything in the goaltending department. Never mind. That Stewie's gone, just like that. And we got Mike Murphy. And Murray's getting the start here against the San Jose Sharks. So let's sim that one. And it is a dub as well. Fire me up. So now we're in net and we're going to lose. We're up against the fourth placed Calgary Flames. This is a big one. Come on, lads. We need a big game here. First period, 1-0 Calgary. All right. Second period, 2-1. This is still very doable. Matthew Kachuk on the Calgary Flames. Uh, no. But anyway... I will see you in the arena. All right, all right. It is a 2-1 situation. Down by one goal in the third period against a team that is one spot behind us in the standings. This is a crucial matchup, especially considering we are quite far into the season. Just past the trade deadline. We're getting down to the wire. A little power play action here gives us a really good opportunity to get back in this thing. I don't know who their defenseman is. Definitely could have beat our guy to the puck and just decided wasn't feeling it. But you know what? I'm feeling this. Here we go. I'm not going to go for a goal, but I will give the greatest breakout pass there ever was. Okay, let's run it back. Try that again. Go this way because there's two players curling. And sure enough, Rory makes a great pass. Gets destroyed, but the pass was made. And we do nothing with it. Graves steps up. Makes a huge defensive play for the Calgary Flames. And now we are back in the nooch. We accomplished virtually nothing on that power play. We have a good opportunity there, but the defense once again getting in the way. I don't know what we were even trying to do there. Offensively, just lots of bad decisions being made. Here comes the Flames. Wonderful poke by 2-2. And we are headed right back the other way. Hayes is in over the line. I thought he was about to get leveled, but he firmed it. And Graves headmans it to Gord. Now Calgary in possession. In the neutral zone. What a deke. The one touch deke and the diving. Wow. Just a massive save. You know. It's all in a good day's work. But we need to get some action going here. Because right now. Offensively. We are generating next to nothing. Anthony Duclair the newcomer. Trying to make an impact. With the Colorado Avalanche. I have no idea how he did in the first two games. Maybe he got a hat trick in both. Maybe he got no points. Couldn't tell ya. But regardless. Or actually, has there only been one game since? I think there's only been one since. So never mind. But even still, no idea how he did in that game. Our team really seems to be trying to force a rebound play. So again, this could be some footage that was watched. 
and their netminder lets out juicy rebounds. That's what I'm going to go with. That's my headline, and I'm sticking to it. Six minutes remain. Beautiful pass in the middle, and Lankinen makes it look easy. All right. To be fair, we have tested him, and he's rose to the challenge. Rose? Is that a thing? Maybe you could say, like, he has risen to the challenge? That sounds more correct. Pass over to Bjorkstrand, who lets one go. You're wide open. No shot. I am not passing that out. Easy opportunity for some team play. And here... The puck meets Irene. Of course it does. You two have met before. Why are you meeting again? Big save. Throwing it out anyway. Also... Why are all these green things coming up? I swear I have that turned off. I don't know if I somehow did that or if the game did it, but my settings for that were seemingly reset. So, I have gone and turned everything off again. No more adaptive feedback, anything like that. Also, moment of truth. We're about to find out if in Colorado things are different and they pull their goalie or if it's going to be the same old story. They're going to leave me in here. I have a feeling that I am probably not getting pulled. I will remain in this net. Yeah, definitely seems that way. Turbo with it. Tries to cut in Mikhaev. Don't know why I said it like that. I'm just going to call him Superman. Makes a big play. And we just absolutely leveled whoever that was. All right. 30 seconds to go. Time is really not our friend. 20 seconds. We gain the zone. Cop goes for a one-touch deke. You absolute clown. Duclair. So close. Why are they counting down? Like, I guess it's a big game, you know? Fourth and third place, but come on now. I don't know if a countdown is really necessary. Well, it is what it is. It's a good game. And I still got third star because they had 28 shots. Their goalie, Kevin Lankinen, probably first star. Yeah, all green. Absolutely beautiful. What a sight. We are playing against the 31st place Anaheim Ducks. I'm going to simulate it. Entirely, probably. I can only imagine this game. Wow. All right. Not a good start. That's more like it. Now we're talking. I mean, I'm still not a big fan of that save percentage, but dub is a dub. We are not starting against New Jersey, who are seventh in the league. I think that was a win. Hold on. No, it was an L. Red Wings are up next. 25th. We still have third currently. Let's go ahead. Sim the first period. Great start. All right. A little iffy. Please. Thank you. You know, you use manners and that's what you get. Another deodorant brand, eh? Let me talk to you. Yeah, bro, I got 60,000 monies. Fire me up. Let me just take a quick look at the calendar here. Quick little peek. We are definitely getting near the end. And of course, we are finishing the season in this episode. So we will find out who our first round playoff opponent is. The Dallas Stars. We have one game left against them. Oh yeah, I forgot. Our division just has the biggest gap of all time. So... We're probably almost guaranteed to get second in the division. In the entire league, there are definitely some teams hot on our trail. The Rags need every win they can get right now. They are really fighting to be in the playoffs, and that is not a good first period for them. Second, ooh, okay, now we're talking. Sure, let's go. I absolutely forgot we had a challenge to win three of the next five games, and I think that we're doing all right right now because I simmed two games that we were in for and we won both of those right and then we lost the calgary one so i think we're two for one right now unless there was another loss in there somewhere i'm forgetting about which very well could be ferraro goes across to dante fabro down low and a big glove save a little bit of baseball action out here all right nice pass that was beautiful cop with it goes for a unique shot i gotta say that was a hook shot and it almost found its way in but no the rangers defense helping out their goalie on that one shifley Rips one. That will be stopped. Burkowski tries to rip one. Great block by our defender. Through the crowd. Look at our defense go. Putting their body on the line for the team. That is Stanley Cup form. If I've ever seen it. Box goes down in the slot. Blocked again. Absolutely huge. Let's go, Turbo. Didn't really gain the zone, but definitely played a critical part in that. Nothing came of it, as you do. Except for this. Some free team play. Oh, should I go for it? No, they're on me. They are on me. What a pass. Yeah. Yeah. So that's on me. 
I shouldn't have done all that weird skating stuff with it, but... I did. I'm just trying to get it all out of the way now before the playoffs, you know? That's the strategy. Oh no. Don't let them get two! They almost had me. They really did. They're still on the attack here too. Holy crap, dude. We gotta get some offense going ourselves here. Landis Cog narrowly avoiding disaster. Milano Todrag goes for the clappy. And that will be saved by McKenzie. Now Gallagher. Somehow on the New York Rangers. Same with Mark Shifley. Gonna try to pass it in the middle. And that will be picked off. Ooh. Big hit. But the play was made beforehand. And now we have the zone. Rory in the middle. To Nemesnikov. And McKenzie jumps out for it. Alright. At least we got some pressure. Clean draw in Rory. Let's get it done. Yup. You sure did. The passing. I don't know what happened to Nemesnikov there. But he just let the puck go. You know, if you love something, let it go. And clearly this guy loves the puck. Capo goes for a cross-ice pass to Shifley, who was teeing it up. Our defense got in the way, thankfully, though, because I'm pretty sure that if that got through, even if I saved it, would have been injured. Anthony with it. Nice little back pass to Damon. I just, I don't have words. Yeah? So, like, why didn't you go backhand, though? That's my only question. Nice try with that walkout. The passing is so good. McKenzie still finds a way to make the save. And now Lundqvist with it. Decided he wants to be a defenseman now. Washington Capitals legend, Henrik Lundqvist. Let's go. Are you even trying? What was that? Lindblom goes for a low blocker. Ooh, that was scary. Provorov with it now. Able to walk in. That was tipped as well. I, not that I could pass it out, but even if I could, no. Whoa! That was speedy. I don't even know how TJ managed to save that, but he did. And now we're still tied. Let's get a draw win here. Blaze down the ice and score an absolute ripper. That sounds sick to me. Ha! That broken stick may have just saved the game. There's a very good chance. Oh, go. 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 Six seconds left. Turbo! Turbo! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Woo! See, that wasn't a prediction. At the draw there. That was a spoiler. Big dub for the Colorado Avalanche. Last second. And the Rangers don't get the much-needed guaranteed point. Oh, this was win three of the next five. Yeah, I was going to say. 100% I did it. Yo, do you guys think Biosteel is a sponsor or... So what do we have left? I think I'm gonna sim up to this Dallas game and just really hope we're in net for it. And if we aren't, then so be it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got two L's there. Shut out by the Islanders. Very unfortunate. But we definitely got some wins as well. So I actually really do not like paintballing because I've gone a couple times. First time I ever got shot was in my finger and I was bleeding like crazy. I don't know how that happened. And then another time I went, I got shot in the mask right here and my mouth was open. Tasted foul. I guess the real question is, are we in net for this game? And also, they must have lost a lot of games because we gained ground quick. We've already clinched a playoff spot and we are only two points back. On the division right now. We do have a game at hand, but still. Or sorry, they have a game at hand. We've played one more. My bad. And you bet we are in net for it. They are second in the league. Simulate game. What a final matchup for this season. Obviously, there's some games after this, but this is the last one we're going to jump into. Assuming it's not ugly after the second period. 2-1. That's acceptable. 3-3. Three, three. Oh my days. You can't make this up. This is massive. These two points... Could be the difference between winning the division and not. And also, it could move us up to second in the league. Not right away. Because I guess they still have a game at hand. And it would go down to Roe and some other tiebreakers. I don't know if it would put us up there right now. But at the end of the day, it's taking two points away from them. And adding two to us. What a terrible way to start. Almost scores again. Comes in and lets one sing. But this time I actually caught it. Here goes Newhook. Gets angled off by Anderson. That was a pro gamer move. 
Robertson gets another shot. There you go. Landy headmans it to Turbo. We gain the zone. Blast by him. Robertson's all over the place right now. What an absolute superstar. Stud, if you will. Another shot on net. That will be kicked into the corner. Rupe Hints battling for it, though, and he wins. Now Miro able to walk in. I knew he was going there. Score? No. We tried. Valiant effort. Sagan has been ripping shots nonstop. I feel like this team in general, actually, has just been gaining the zone and letting them go, which I'm all for. These games have come a long way since the old Bia Pros. I'm thinking like NHL 14 and maybe NHL 15. Games like that, the computers would not shoot unless it was pretty much a guaranteed goal. So the stats would always just be horrendous. Go. He covered it. Hopkins covered it. Who is this Hopkins guy anyway? Let's go here, Avs. I let up one that I probably shouldn't have to start this period. So now the pressure is on you guys to try and get it back. Hello. That is a hit. And could swing the momentum of this game. Here we go. Come on. Landis Cog gains the zone. Skates right into Miro's stick. They have Pajot as well. A completely different Dallas Stars roster. Not surprised. Definitely loving the physicality. Maybe not back our way. Not a big fan of that one. But our team has been throwing some hits. And I love it. Axelson's in. Gets it to Rupe. I was in bad positioning there. You are 1000% not getting that hat trick. If it is the last thing I do. Damon? What a save by Hopkins. Not looking good, lads. Got 240 remaining. Still down by one. And Hopkins is on one. Guy's having himself a game. Here we go, Hearts. Oh, yeah. They just can't take the puck off this guy. So close. We still got it. All right. Let's set something up here. Duclair. That was weird. He, like, wall squatted. What a keep by Turbo. A low shot rebound! Yeah! Woo! Get another one. We don't need overtime. Let's rip these two points away from the Dallas Stars. Very close. You're not getting a hat trick. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better pass it. There's your stats after three. Let's jump in to some three on three. Let's go, Turbo. Great effort. Really like the way he's playing this game. Puck is kicked. Over to Bennett. Bringing it up the ice. Doesn't really have a whole lot. Our player's doing a pretty good job of covering. Robertson really wants that hat trick. But I told you, dude, it's not happening. Like, no shot. I'm not even guaranteeing that we're going to win this game. I am just personally guaranteeing that you're not getting a hat trick. Great save. In the mitten. Pass it out to 5-7. Dante, you got to get rid of it. I mean, preferably... Onto another avalanche stick. But. You're kidding me. What a hit. For what? Five on three. Not liking our chances. But hey, at least we'll get one point out of it. Let me talk to you. Big save. Wow, I thought it was done right then and there. But nope. Not that easy. Down low. It was, wasn't it? You really do just hate to see it. Yeah, that whole like guarantee thing that I was saying, that was kind of before our team gave them a five on three in overtime. The good news is we got one point out of it. So, although they came away with two, they really only gained ground of one point. We have five games left. Let's go ahead, simulate all of them, and see if we can take the division or not. Big first win there against the Panthers. Now a little convo with Mr. Landiscog, Captain Landy. I could use a break. There's a great spa nearby. Let's absolutely hit up that spa. It's like you read my mind, you know? Let's go here. Keep the streak going. Love it. Big win over Chicago. 
That's rough. Oh, they're at 107. Yeah, we're done. We are done. We cannot catch them. You hold the record for most wins by a rookie goaltender for the Colorado Avalanche. It's just kind of what I do. We actually finished with 50 wins though, so that is an incredible season. My save percentage though is disgusting and I am appalled. And it is time to find out who our first round opponent is. It is... Nobody. It is the St. Louis Blues. All right, let's see them up to the next game. So they were 17th in the league. We definitely have the advantage. James, I've had it. Well, let's look at some individual stats, shall we? Stats central. I'm not going to show who's on St. Louis. I'll do that next video. Turbo with 87 points. Let's go, buddy. So we finished second in the division with 106. And in the entire league, we finished third. The Seattle Kraken that... Maybe could have allowed us to pass the Dallas Stars. Also had 104. That was one of the teams we lost to to finish out the year. Turbo was absolutely on one this season. 87 points. And I think he was with us the whole year, right? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't even with us the whole year. But he was. Duclair had 13 points in 19 games. Second liner, that's pretty good. Nemesnikov with 14 points in 19 games for the Avs. Okay. Defensively, Byram had 44. He led the team. Plus 19 as well with Damon Severson. You love to see that. What you don't love to see is Zach Slater being scratched. Not a fan. But anyway, goaltenders, 906. Ugh. But, you know, got the same as the backup. So <laughs> that's not saying much. You should do better than the backup. All right, everybody. It is Colorado Avalanche, St. Louis Blues, round one of the year six, five of the playoffs. There you go. I appreciate you for watching. If you could subscribe, that would be very fire. I'll see you soon.